What's going on boys and girls? These are my last two remaining jet skis. If you have been watching past videos, I had every <laughs> model sea do from the 90s. Well, from 95 to 97, I believe, or 95 to 96. Uh, got rid of all of them. These are the last two. Um, Saying these are the best two out of the bunch, the ones I really like. If you was watching, this is the GTI I picked up. About a hundred bucks. I took it out for a test run last fall, right before it got cold. And uh, it ran pretty decent. And this is the XP. Picked this one up cheap. Uh was having issues with it. It kept bogging and sputtering on top end. I had thought I had it straight and uh I just stopped riding it. So what I'm doing now, I'm replacing all the fuel lines. I've put all new black lines uh running to the fuel pet cock. I took the carburetor apart, checked it, cleaned it. Uh so I ran out of quarter inch fuel line, so I gotta get some more. But uh, anyway, so hopefully we can get these things back out and on the water uh, with no issues. Like I said, the GTI did pretty good. Um, it kind of sputtered towards the end, but uh, I'm gonna go through it and. Uh, I'm pre-mixing these in the tank. Uh, leave a description in the box if you think that's a good idea. Uh, I think the XP, uh, the fuel pump is uh, unhooked. So they was pre-mixing it in the tank. The GTI, I think it's unhooked also. Um, but anyway, I'm draining out all the two-cycle oil that was in there, all the gas. And I'm putting in this uh, XPS Lubricant E-Tech. Now this came straight from the Sea-Doo dealer. And uh, it's supposed to be for Sea-Doo. It's full synthetic. So I'm draining all the gas that's pre-mixed out. And uh, I'm putting in that two-cycle oil. I guess I'm going to pre-mix it. Uh, I know the linkage for the... Uh, oil pump on the XP is gone. I don't even see the cable anymore. So they were pre mixing it there. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I have read in some uh, forums where they were saying that uh, it's not a good idea to pre mix in the tank. I've talked to people. They said they never had a problem with the oil pump. Why would you pre mix in the tank? Uh, I don't know if that oil pump works or not. Maybe that's why they uh start doing it the gti don't really know the story on that oil pump it had oil in the tank but i don't know uh if there was an issue um i can't remember if it was already pre-mixed and i have to look up under there the cable might be hooked up on it uh but anyway just a short little update of the sea dues that I got last year right at the end of summer or towards middle of summer end of summer and these are the last two remaining pair and I don't know I might get rid of them at the end of this summer uh, I might not um, I don't know so might get some later model ones I think this one here is a 95, I think that's a 96, or both of them are 96s, I think. can't remember. Uh, but anyway, that's just it. So hopefully we can get these things running tip-top and get back on the water and uh, have some fun with them, and then we'll decide what we're going to do with them from there. All right. What's up? So now... You got the jet skis in the shop, and I gotta put some uh, lights on this trailer. Ever since I got this double trailer, uh, now I 
have an area of lights on it. So we're gonna put these uh, some merciful uh, LED trailer lights I picked up. Uh the inner rims. About 24 bucks. I made my max haul. The LED is supposed to be waterproof. They just mount right on the trailer. It looked like it used to have some lights at one time. They got ripped off, broken. So, uh, it's got some of the wiring here. I don't know how good this wiring is. Uh, that's one side. Side. But there is some kind of remnants. This is why it looks like it's just worn. Yeah, one side it goes into the tube. Man, that's going to be a big deal to push, push that wire in there. Sure, it will just run it along the frame. Probably all rusted up in there and use some fish tape fish it out. So we'll probably just run it straight down up over the front of the trailer. And uh, yeah, that wire there is probably all true, but well, it might be still good. We might try and use this wire. Well, you know, it's kind of rough there, so we'll just run all the wire. Now this kit comes with comes with all the connections. That comes with the tag hole, which state of Tennessee we don't have to have further tag. Not much we want to. It comes with the instructions. The funky card. Uh comes with the little side markers. That's LED. We don't have any side markers. No way. So, I don't know if I put side markers on it or not. It really just needs some tail lights. Looks like it had to stick on side markers or a reflector. I don't have it. So we got the lights found and hooked up, wired up. Now we got trailer lights. I feel more comfortable on the road now. People can actually see. I didn't put the side markers on. Um, I'll probably do that later. As long as I got tail light, brake light, and turn signals, I'm good. So guess what? We might be heading to the lake.